What's up guys, it's Captain Ross here, East Island Aquatics, and this is my first ever saltwater tank in the form of a 10 gallon. So, I am excited, I am super excited about this tank. I have been working on getting a saltwater up for quite some time now, and finally I feel like this is a great start. Um, I'm eventually going to do a 30 gallon tank with a 30 gallon sump. Um, this tank up here. The guppy tank is actually going to be a saltwater eventually, once I sell the guppies and clean it up. But I just wanted to start by creating some live rock with this setup. This is just a basic 10 gallon setup and let's go right on through it. So what we have going on, we have this janky setup with an OptiBrite Plus, Aquion OptiBrite Plus, a traded Fort Wayne fish tank, some lights and some other equipment and stuff for this thing. Um, and I didn't have a light for a 10 gallon, like an extra one, so I just went ahead and put this on it, and I changed the lighting to where it didn't have the reds, and I can, you can mix around the lighting, I'll do a review on the light too, but right now, as you can see, I have all the blues on, and the whites, so it's just blues and whites, so it makes the tank look nice, and I can change up different things, I'm going to do a review on it, so it'll be more in depth, so let's get right on with the video here. So what we got going on in here is we have five hermit crabs. I believe they're all blue leg. I think. I'm not a master on the hermits. I think they're all blue leg hermit crabs or Cortez crabs and stuff like that. And what I've done is I've added a bunch of different shells in here in case they wanted to switch. I've already had some crabs switch a couple times. We have a big one in the back. I don't know if you can see them too well. And then there's a bunch climbing all over in the rock. This is all dry rock I got for a dollar a pound. This is the yellowtail blue damsel. He's actually out. He hides a lot. But pretty nice. Um, this, it's all dry rock, by the way. I'm trying to get it into live rock. I have a lot of extra dry rock, too, that I'm going to be working on next. But this is all, like, this is dry coral, this red stuff. I thought it looked pretty neat, so I kind of put it in here, and I broke it up and let it be on the ground to make it look pretty nice. The hermit crabs have been digging a lot. They're pretty neat. This is all flat, and they've been digging it up. So I have five hermit crabs, a blue, yellowtail blue damsel, and a peppermint shrimp, which is hiding. There's his antenna. There he is down there. And I'm going to do a video soon uh, for on him and the cool things that he can do. But I kind of scaped this tank to have a couple layers. If you look up here, this is all a really shallow area that they can actually get on. The peppermint shrimp likes to climb through the holes and end up at that top part. And they can just hang out up at the shallow areas, which is pretty nice. This light is way too big for this tank, but it works for now, so I'm just going with it. I have a quiet flow 20 or 30 on here and inside I have um, polyfill and then a pot scrubby, plastic pot scrubby which are really cheap. You get like five for a buck at Dollar Tree do or any dollar store or whatever. And then under that is a bunch of dry rock rubble that will act as more biological filtration. So I got a nice little setup here with that. And then, where'd he go? Here's a, here's a hermit crab. He's running around. That's another one. But I also have a little Tetra preset 78 heater. I'm going to be moving my cobalt neotherm down here soon. But right now, that's what I have set up until I switch the heaters out on the other tanks. And then I have just a little Aquion glass cleaner. It's not a mag float, because those are more expensive, but what this one does is when it drops, it lands there, and the magnets don't start till about here on it. The stuff doesn't start till about here on it, This, the magnet part. So it doesn't get anything caught up in here, and it goes out quite a ways under here. So it works pretty well. I've uh, I set it up on my Kramas tank. Um, when I set her up the 20 gallon marine land if you guys have seen that video I set it, set up one of those for her and she loves it so 
I figured I'd give it a try. Uh, the damsel loves to hide in here. But yeah. So another thing I was going to do on this tank. I have a little Coral Life, uh, was it protein skimmer? I had it set up, but then the cup was filling like in a couple minutes, not even a couple minutes. It was just filling right away. And the highest I could push it would still fill the cup up in like, I don't know, a minute or 30 seconds. And then all the foam and stuff would fill overnight the foamy and the gross stuff but then when I pulled the cup out it all fell through the little hole so the water would fill up to the top of this ridge here and then the foam and the gross stuff would be up here but then when I pull it off all of it would fall through so I need to figure out the, a better way to set this up and maybe I'll just wait till I get the 30 gallon up and then set it up in the sump so I can adjust it better but I got I had it as high as I could get it on here it was essentially like there on it and it would fill up all the water would just fill to here and it right away so I have to figure out the better way to set that up and adjust different things but for now that's what we're working with here um for food so I've been shaking around it's kinda low to the ground if you see it's right there uh, but that's what I have to work with right now for food I've just been feeding a He's trying to chew up something. Uh, for food, I have cobalt food right here. So I have spirulina pellets. Mysis spirulina uh, flake food. And CA mysis here. This is for food for fish that don't like that are kind of picky eaters and they gobble this up. But my fish and shrimp and crabs eat all this, so that works. And then I won some North Fin food in a contest a while back, so I'm we're still working on this. This is a veggie formula. It's good, too. But I've been focusing on the cobalt food lately. I'm going to have a review out for you guys soon. I've just been taking, the taking my time with the cobalt food review because I want to make sure I can get it, get a good review and test out all the foods for you. But yeah, we've been doing, it's been going pretty well. I really like this tank a lot. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. If you like this tank or you don't like this tank, just let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm really excited about getting into salt water. Please give me any advice you can, and constructive criticism would be amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.